You know, during this, you know, time of the Zoom, you know, teaching, you know, a lot of parents are seeing how their children are being, you know, talked to by a lot of these Mzungu female teachers. And what's happening is a lot of them are seeing how some of them are just blatantly racist and parents are catching it. Students are catching it in real time. See, these are things that was happening in the classrooms and no, you know, there was no really uh, videotape of, of anything too much because it was happening right then and there. But Zoom allows you to record everything in, in real time. So you have this one student, and I'm play the clip. He's gonna he's gonna talk about the, you know what happens with us as black people. We got this one teacher that doesn't like black people. That's teaching black students. So let me go ahead and let you hear that clip. Never had to go through that struggle, but there's some black people that live in communities where the cops do not treat them right. You understand? Okay, and like it's I, all about stop it's right there, David. The stop. I want to be very clear. What you don't know about me could fill a freaking swimming pool. I was 16 years old and I was attacked on a MARTA train by a gang, and yes, gang, wearing bandanas, gang sign, language of blacks in Metro Atlanta. I have as much right as anybody else to dislike blacks for what happened to me. So you don't get to sit there and preach to me what I do and don't know. So as you heard, you know, she has a right. She says not to like black people because some, some black folks attacked her a long time ago. Allegedly. We don't know if that's true or not. She could have been made that up. We, we don't have the facts on that. So I'm gonna have to assume that's just a lie because we, we don't have no facts on anything. Where, where's the proof of that? I mean, I, I need, I need to, to see the investigation. I need to see the police reports. I need to see something because you know, we, we know how you lie, but she haven't been fired for that. She was reassigned when she ain't got a fool with other students. Now this woman's name is Tracy Brown. Um, she was in Point uh, Kiana High School. Okay, she was their social studies teacher. Now she's right. She's a hundred percent right. She has every right in the world to dislike black people. That is her prerogative. And if she keep that at her house and, and don't put her hands on black people and stay the hell out of our way and don't harm our children or, or anything in our community. Keep that dislike to yourself. Cool. Most of us don't want to be around you either. Trust me. We don't want to be around you, but the problem is you can't be a high school teacher in public school. Not liking black people when black people go to public school, you can't be in those positions. Sorry. You just can't. So you need to go. See, I'm liking the zoom, you know, even though I, even though I can tell you that it is, is not a, fa a favorite of parents. I know it's not a favorite, but when public school is exposing these teachers constantly and what's going on. And this is why I'm a firm believer of all the teachers that teach black children should look like them because we wouldn't have these issues and problems. We wouldn't. And this is why, you know, now everything is, is going virtual. People are getting used to it. Maybe we can get more schools created in our community with starts off as virtual schools. I mean, think about it. Virtual learning is, is, is here now. It's not going anywhere. Even after the pandemic, virtual learning is going to be here. So think about it in the past. You maybe had to create schools. Now, now people basically it's a homeschooling, right? So this is a great opportunity for black people in the black community that actually want to start schools or great teachers say, Hey, look, I'm going to create a curriculum, you know, let, let's, let's pay, you know, so much money, you know, to, uh, to create these schools. You know, you got certain individuals that's been trying to open up, open up a, a huge school for like freaking 10 years, but they won't, but that one individual won't even start a virtual school. That's weird when everybody's doing virtual right now. Right. But you know, you know, <laughs> you know, that individual, he hustling, but virtual school is where it's at right now. And, and you can think about it. You could teach black people all over the world. If you start a great school, you can, you can have kids, you know, uh, zooming in from, from Africa, from the Caribbean. If you have this, this great school where kids can learn. So I definitely encourage more and more black people to open up virtual schools. Uh, so our kids can learn because th this is, this is straight abuse. We, we don't need to subject our, uh, uh, our kids to this uh, abusive filth. This is filth.
that you did that, that we heard of. just a filthy trash but leave me a comment let me know what think about you know this particular story and and, and and listen she was reassigned she wasn't fired that's why i would want that's why i don't want i hate that public school system i hate it with a passion <music>